Okamoto. Uh, this is a 12 by 24 model DX, uh, a V model, a fifth generation model here. Um, this is a three axis automatic with an over the wheel dresser, which is actually um, has its own compensation. And uh, you can put in the total amount of dress uh, you want to take off the wheel. Uh, you could also uh, say how many parts you're going to grind in between before you dress and uh, there's a compensation for that and you could also uh, just manually dress the wheel but since we don't have any coolant uh, liquid hooked up to it we're going to stay away from that um, the machine is hydraulic it's currently wired for 220 volts uh, the hydraulic pump and the reservoir is internal to the machine and over here we have a, mag a paper band a filtration system. So um, this takes a 14 inch diameter grinding wheel uh, with a 5 inch bore on the inside and um, down here you have controls to adjust your your incremental step of your saddle uh, to turn your saddle on for, for that incremental step or up this way for continuous and then you have your control here for your table going back and forth and to regulate the speed of the dresser diamond going over the wheel you have a, a little valve for that so right now the grinder is running and uh, we have the hydraulics on and so there's a, a digital display here which shows you the up and down or the vertical and you've got some selector switches here and some buttons that allow you to rapidly raise the grinding wheel up or raise it down and you can set this number here to zero anytime you want. Uh, you also have a manual pulse generator. Uh, once you come down close to your wheel, uh, you can go down pretty fine, where each click is um, uh, 10 millionths. Five, five places after the decimal. 50 millionths, 10 millionths, excuse me. So that's pretty good. Uh, so you've got your manual pulse generator and you've got your wrap it up and down buttons and you've got uh, an edit button here and a run program button. We'll go over that in a moment. Uh, so the idea here is uh, we'll start the grinding spindle up. That's right here. That's the spindle running. Uh, you've got a little a switch here to make your table go. Um, give it a little speed and we select that direction. And there it starts moving. You got these uh, sliding stops here that you can adjust to change the stroke or the length of the, the, the travel of the table. Cross speed works when you pull the safety handle out, breaking the, the switch there so that uh, it can feed that way. Now on the side of the machine here is a set of dogs that you use. I could reverse the direction of the table. There's a switch here that you can reverse the direction of the saddle. Again, the amount of this step that we're making now is oh, probably about a half inch or so. The more I turn this knob here, the bigger that step will get. So I want to get it down in, inside my spot here where we can show you it going back and forth. There's a little arrow drawn here on the side of the machine and as long as you have your crossfeed button in the center so that it knows it, it has to reverse and go both directions, once we get uh, right over here, we're going to start to go the other way. There you go. So I only have it spread out shortly because uh, I have a small little piece on the, on the chuck right now. Again, this is an electromagnetic chuck want to turn that on you've got a chuck here you've got a green light that comes on and over here you've got a variable hold you can go to hundred percent and that's on there real good alright so the next thing is uh, we can do a couple of different programs or modes on here you've got uh, regular surface grinding like we're doing right now and you've also got a plunge grinding cycle where the saddle doesn't move but just the, just the, the wheel comes down. 
And if we want to do that, uh, then we select that mode. As soon as we select that mode, the cross slide starts, stops working. Now your down feed, uh, again you've got your rapid buttons here. You can wrap it down a little bit to your part. You just get close to it and you can go into the manual pulse generator and come down closer and when you get to the point where you're really close you go to the fine feed and you just skim or touch or spark off on your workpiece and you set that back to zero. So let's say uh, we wanted to take off 10,000 so I've got to put this in the program mode which is that little uh, indicator there and I'll put in a one here which gives us 0.01 that's 10 thousands. Uh, you've got a fine and a coarse feed and you've got a point where the fine feed uh, the coarse feed switches into the fine feed so you've got two feeds on here and you've got a, a changeover point so if you want to change the, the, the your, your in feed over at say uh, a couple of tenths before zero or thousands before zero you can do that so we're going to start this program off uh, taking um, one thousands and when we get down to a thousands left on the part we're going to switch to um, to tenths so here we go once we go from this position into this position we're going to start to feed so you see here we went from ten to nine to eight seven six five And you can also set how many spark out strokes. Now we're doing in the tenths. Now we're down to zero. And then at the end of the cycle, the machine comes to a stop. The number is down to zero. Um, so that's a pretty good uh, example of how that works. Cross feed, uh, again, if we wanted to uh, do the surface grinding, I put a number in here. Um, let's say, uh, I don't want to be here too long, so we'll put we'll put four tenths, and uh, uh, better not. Let's see. We'll put in a th we'll put the ten thousandths again. All right. So over here we select the surface grinding mode, and we start our table up. And once I go into the the auto uh, position here, we're going to start to feed this down at, at the table at the saddle reversal. So once our saddle makes this, the, the, the reversal switch on the side, this will feed down. Um, one thousands. So there it went to nine thousands. So you got nine thousands left on your part, and it's going to come back across and get to the other side and feed down again another thousands until you get to uh, whatever you want to, want to start your fine feed at could be two tenths could be half a thousands uh, then you change your you know your value you can also select how many spark out empty passes once it does get to zero how many times you want this to go back and forth uh, doing empty passes that's the spark out So there you have it. That's the Okamoto uh, 1224DX uh, Model V or Model 5. Thank you very much.